legendary in the house, and I'm talking about BR legend, and anyone that's you know that's looking right now, that's watching this, they don't know what I'm talking about. Man, I want to just welcome Trey SK to the fucking building. What's on with it, bro? What's on? Man, what's good, Trey? Man, uh, man, DSK, bro, you, you a whole nother level than just underground or upcoming artists, man. You, I mean, I, I want, I mean, let me let the world introduce the world who who you really is, who Trey DSK, and who really is. Because a lot of motherfuckers act like you know, what I mean, they must have got. But yeah, man, uh, I go. I, 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 shit, I go by Trey the Step King. You heard me. Artist, ghostwriter, singer, anything you hear me dealing with music, anything you hear me, I I paid a lot of way for a lot of people out this bitch here. Damn man, and then where you raised, where you are from, how you got into music, and you know I me mean, what 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 age, and just just really just give them uh, behind the music, you know about you. Uh, you know? Shit, I was I, I was born in Glen Oak, but I was raised in Scotland. I'm from Scotland. Mm. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, right there by Southern University. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm just, um, so I see. I mean, I'm, I'm going all the way back, man. I'm going, I'm going way back. Your first, that that first song that really buzzed, man. I, and you're gonna be shocked when you know what I mean. I I did my research, and you dropped. I mean, I don't even know what year is this, but when you first dropped, they don't think I'm lying. Oh yeah, I think I was like. Probably fourteen or fifteen years old on this song. <laughs> man, I'm, when you when you first did that, you know you come in being the first song hot in the city, you know, and st I mean buzzing. Just run me through that, man. When you you know drop that, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. It was I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I ain't even much understand. Like I ain't I ain't even much know the impact I had. Like cause like I was so popular, but mm. I still used to go to school and shit and like. It was just it was different because I was so popular since a young age, since like yeah. 12, 13 years old. So like with the music shit, like I played basketball and shit too. So I was known for being good and shit. So they just mixed. They yeah. just they just mixed together. So when I started really doing music, it was like, damn, this nigga rap, like this nigga cold. Because back then when I was doing music, it really it was like anybody that was doing music back then was like, I wanna say that nigga because everybody wasn't recording everybody really wasn't yeah. going to the studio wasn't nobody dropping songs wasn't nobody known for music but a, a certain amount of local people that was in my age bracket damn and then it's just crazy because you you were so hot in a young age and you're still trying to develop like man it's so much stuff moving i'm doing basketball then i'm doing songs and i'm i'm in the studio and and you just like man it's like so much going on and you know i mean just like you say, how can you control that? I mean, how you control that, and and where you at right I now? I think to be honest with you, I ain't. I don't really think I had to control it because I ain't really know the impact. Like I ain't know how popular and famous I was at that age until I got older. And people and they just start hitting me like, damn, like, cause I was young. So like, I go to the store, I go to the mall, I go to school. Everybody like, oh, look at Trey with the woo. But <laughs> it was like I ain't know how big it was. I thought it was. Yeah, I don't. Like, I, ain't, I ain't understand it. It's hard to understand when you just you so hot in your city, and then sometimes you know it's crazy because a lot of people don't, don't even get love in their own city, and then you was just getting so much love, and you know right. the, the city that really rock with you so heavy, they just you know, Louisiana's own, you know. Just what? How was that? You know, you see your your city and your state, and your, I mean wherever you were, just your hometown show you so much love, and you just as an artist. I mean, it was it was very like appreciated, but like um, it was it was very appreciated because like I ain't really make the br sound music. Like I made a name for myself by being different, and I always appreciated people for witnessing that I was just different. I still made the music, but I ain't really. I'm not known for trade. They got that band real sound. I'm known for trade that. Make all yeah, good yeah make his own his own sound and you just so yeah, and like I was, I was right. singing it I was bringing singing and rap when I yeah. was 14, 15 years old when nobody thought it was cool everybody thought it was like what the fuck you doing now everybody doing it like everybody doing this singing stuff and that's why I said you were so versatile you were so different 
And when people say BR rap or BR this, they look at no 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 they look at Fiddle Band and then they look at NBA Youngboy. They, they they want that drill. I mean not that drill, but just that hood or they look at Boosie and they see you singing and just whole different level and just like man, this is this nigga different. Then right, you, right. Then you came out and you dropped I I uh, I got you. Yeah, like that was one of my biggest songs in Ben Rouge. Like I took like Life Gen is one of my favorite artists. Like you, you know, like mm. Life yeah. Gen. You know who that is? Nah, I'm not, not really. I'm mean, still I'm still getting in. Life Gen is he made uh fuck. He made songs like S E X Take a Deep Breath. I probably heard me. I probably he heard a big him. artist. He had made a song called Statistics, and I had liked the song, so I had got the beat. And and just made a song to the beat, and just made some way different. That became one of my most known songs. It had hit like seven to eight thousand views. Damn, shit, shit, like that bitch was that thing. Cause I was singing on that bitch. I was doing something different. And back then, when I dropped it, it was like two thousand eleven. Like YouTube wasn't that popular, and I had like thirty, forty thousand views. Like on that. Yeah, I I noticed that man. I really noticed that. Cause when I went to your catalog, man, your catalog is so that mean. I mean, you you I mean, you've been. I see you go by so many names. I don't know when. When I was doing my research, I'm like, I see DSK this. I see DSK this. I see. I'm like, man, who, this nigga just got shit everywhere. Shit, yeah, it's everywhere, bro. Yeah, I've been, I've been putting music out in the streets and digitally since 13, 12 years old, bro. Damn. So, um, you did so much stuff, and I respect you. I mean, I, I respect you as a brother. It was one song that even it was it was doing. I mean, it, it came out. It was it's, it's a big song with a lot of I mean, big artists. Whatever it is, you withdraw yourself because they were exposing the women. Oh, you talking about that, that to the ceiling with? Uh, uh, I'm talking about uh, exposed one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You talking about one of good? Yeah. Shit, yeah. So, what was your choice to withdraw from that song, man? When you first, you know, they. You know, Try to get you on that, and then you withdraw from that to be. I mean, I ain't really. I withdraw myself from it. Like, I ain't like my little dog. One mm. was an entertainer. Like he just was known for being one. He ain't really like like rap, but he used to know what he wanted to say. So yeah. he used to come to me and my other people. Like, good. I mean, everybody else that was in the clique. Like one. I mean, Gus and Scotty and shit. The writer shit. So. Oh. One day, like, we were just cooling in the room because, like, we used to have so many females we used to, you know, <laughs> trade and yeah. all kind of crazy shit. So we used to, like, just jokes. And one day we were just in the room just rapping and we were just going at it about different hoes and shit. And he was like, man, I'm a song out this shit. But me, I was in a relationship, so I ain't really want to put it out because yeah. I was exposing myself. So I ain't withdraw myself from the song. But, like, I still got on it, but the original song ain't get pushed because I ain't really want to fuck with it. You didn't want to fuck. Yeah, I mean, I respect that. And then um, I heard I me mean, I mean, looking deep into it. You had a group. It's called The Fam. That Fam. Yeah, That Fam. Yeah. So, I mean, to take me through that, man, the artists, the, everything that, you know what I mean? That, that was the group that was you was coming up with when you first, I mean, right when you started doing it or in the middle of your music career? Yeah, I'm going to say it was in, like, the second, the second quarter of my music career, like, almost third quarter. Because, like, I was in a group already. Like I was already known for being Trader Step King, but I was in a group with somebody where I'm from in my neighborhood, Skyler. They, they was called a troublemaker. And I was already building the name for myself solo. And then when I got with them, it was like building then, but like we had part ways. I had moved from out of Skyland and and I was just getting bigger. So I really stayed solo. Then yeah. then I just locked in with one of Gus because I had been knowing them since like elementary school. So it was like played out back in the circuit and I just locked back in with them then I just like man I'm in that fan man it was just that from that. Man and then one um I see I mean I'm looking in I mean just your biggest song I mean right now I mean I mean I don't know how many numbers you, you add all your numbers together. This one is at sixty one thousand and you had I mean it's called I mean uh, to the ceiling you had uh double trouble and you had little juice on there. Yeah she money uh red and juice yeah Man, t t walk me through that, man. Just that song, and and it's still doing crazy numbers. And you had one of, the, I mean, you you work with one of the biggest artists on the, I mean, just the song, 
in the yeah, yeah, I done worked with damn near every damn near air artist from Baton Rouge besides Boots and Gates and, and Young Boy. Damn. That's the Man. only one I work with. <laughs> I know all of them personally. I know I know she money. I know Sean Thing. I know I know uh uh Scotty King. I know Mister. I know uh YBZ. I know I know all of them, bro, personally. Shit. And that's how I, that's what I'm I mean. You got so much connection, and when you with this music stuff, and a lot of people, it's all about, you know, it's all about loyalty and who really, you know, rock with you and who really keep your loyalty. And, and you know, it'd be really about, be really yeah. about they be scared to, 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 cause it's like, it's like you hear me, they gold and I'm platinum. Like they just want to mm. stay, they want to stay where they at, cause they know mm. if they, they show me off. You hear me? I can blow past yeah. them, cause they know I'm all around, and and I. Mm. Scared to really show it, and then like I used to be turned before them. They yeah. used to look up to me, so they like, we'll never let that nigga get that juice again yeah. here because he 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 already got it. I get that. I look at it. Hear me? I mean that, that's and you, and you see how that shit goes. It's like, well, how much you learn? From, I mean, as you being around so many artists and so many big artists, what you learn from that? Because like you just said, they want to keep you in 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 a, in, a, in a level as. They already see how much our impact you is. The moment they put about the machines behind you, they know it's over. With. It's over. It's, with. It's, it's, it's over. I mean, it's a skyrocket. One post, you hear me? One post is over with. Cause all it takes is one post, then they gonna do their research and be like, damn. Yeah. And it's over and with. You that nigga. And you that nigga. I mean, we're talking about five years. Well, you you start rapping since five? Yeah, like, like five or seven. I'm going to say Man. seven years old because that's when my, me and my homeboy C. Brown started doing music. That was my first time ever recording music was with my homeboy C. Brown. We were like yeah. seven years old, seven, eight years old. Yeah, because I see you and C. Brown. I mean, when I was young, I mean, young and two, it had a song, If I Got You. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. No, it's called... Uh, if You Got You. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I know what you're talking about. We shot a little video to it. If you go, if you go, yeah, if you go, yeah, if you if, go, if you go. So, I mean, you and C. Brown being, I mean, like I say, basically, y'all started in the same time of rapping, basically. Yeah, we started at the same time. Like, we recorded our first song together. Like, we were yeah. the first person that did music together. Like, me and him did music together. Yeah, the first nigga I recorded with. Man, I, I stayed in Scotland. And he stayed in the, in the same neighborhood, but it was another section of Scotlandville called Banks. And it was like right across the highway. I used to walk over there to his house and man. record and spend the night, come back home the next day. Man, with but he's full of music, you hear me? See, Brown is so different though with that with that sound. I mean, that's like a, when we talk about original BR sound. Yeah, man. he got that original sound. He sound like he sound like the modern day Boosie. If Boosie knew how to rap still. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So it's like and then he's so versatile, he might come, he might hit you with Soldier Slim one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that nigga sound, yeah, he sound like for real, like if Boosie still knew how to rap like he did back in the gap. Yeah. That he hit you with. See, got that juice like that. Man, see, see, he's too talented. So now we go forward from there. And then, I mean, sorry for your loss. I mean, you have um, both of your, I mean, like I say, you lost what, one and, um, one, one in guts. Yeah, so you lost one in guts. Yeah, they've been they've been dead like almost. I think either ten years, or almost ten years, or probably a little over eleven. Probably eleven. He ain't nothing over like eleven years though. They've been Man. dead for sixteen. I'm twenty seven. Man, so when when that happened, when that first hit, and I mean it, it, I mean for them being your dogs, and as the music goes, and sometimes you know, I mean when you lose people, you know, start start the transition or change. I mean. Start to slow down, or whatever. Sometimes it it bring you up, and what what stage you went through when you know you lost both of your partners like that? I'm gonna keep it real. I I ain't really want to do music no more. Why? Like I ain't really want to fuck with it no more. Cause like everything started being serious. It wasn't fun no more. Cause when we were doing music together, it was fun. It wasn't about music. It wasn't about how many views we can get. It wasn't about that. It was just like, man, we want to make music and put it out. And then when they got killed, it was like I started knowing too much and I started being serious about shit too much. And a lot of shit wasn't fun no more. So I stopped doing it. I ain't really want to fuck with it. Then I can, man, I mean, that's, that just, 
man, that's life, man. It's just crazy. And when you when you hit that, you're like, man, do I stop here or do I keep going? Right. And I came. I, I went. I dig. I dig. I mean, I, I dig. Then I'm gonna keep it real. They the reason why I ain't stopped yet, though. Keep it real with you. That's you. Yeah. Real shit. I mean, it's no. I mean, the, we still got our foot in the gas. It ain't no stopping on you, cause you still. I mean, you still. I mean, like I said, you still got it in you. You still got it in you. And what is new? What is new right now for you? Twenty. I mean, going forward from 2023. What is new right now? You in right now? What is any new singles, any new project? What what you got in plans for I mean, 2023 as you as an artist? I'm going to put, the, I'm working on the mixtape right now, but all 2023, I'm going to just drop singles and, and, and videos to it. And to one of them bitches just take off, you hear me? What was the song that I, um, I think it was uh, last uh, last year of the um, December. I, uh, you Stepping, that's the one, You Stepping. I think the one I did, I had to do it again. Stepping, yeah. Man, that song was hard, man, and that bit almost in two thousand two oh. already. Man, that song was just so dope, man, and, and I'm like, man, when I had to, I had to get on it real quick, I I, I have to have ASAP. When I did, I have my little sister. I'm like, come on, man, we about to step to this. <laughs> yeah, shit, yeah, that bit, that bit, i I wanted to start a little challenge to it, but I had started another one for to one of my other songs. Man, man, you just so like a br Louisiana, very really historic and. You've been in the game so long, and you know so many artists, and artists come up and and come out of nowhere and from your city, and you just like, man, like, how many? I mean, as you as artists coming in, do, do you any will try to approach you or record deal wise or anything? Oh you yeah, shit, yeah. Walk me through that. Shit, yeah, man. I had, a, I could have, uh, I could have signed with a lot of people, like. Boku people like but and before you you know Nissy from Baton Rouge? Yeah. So I was about to sign with him before he got killed too, because he had one of the sign me. He had just got a hold to me. It was a lot of people I couldn't fuck with. Sony. Damn. One one of the NRs at Sony Entertainment had contacted me to be a ghostwriter for one for, for one of their artists. Mm. But I ain't take it cause my daddy know the game and knew, you know, he was like, man, don't fuck with it. You hear me? They gonna own your music, you know, yeah. all kind of crazy shit. It's ownership, man. And then sometimes when and you I, ain't, I ain't know nothing about owning and publishing songs, so it was basically like I was gonna just really get them the music and not get nothing in return. You see, they all just once once all these record labels, all this, and and you work with so many artists, and they don't even know right now. You write, I mean, like I said, you were a ghostwriter. You write so many songs right now, and. Do you got credits for those songs or even royalties for those songs? And you still, you know, manage to talk to the artists that you write those songs for that went big and people still don't know until this day. Yeah. Yeah, real talk. It just, I don't really speak on it, you hear me, unless they don't care, but it be disclosed shit. That's what a ghostwriter fuck, but like. Yeah, closure, yeah. But they mean, I mean, you still get your credit or you still get royalties from that? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, I ain't gonna say credit because they don't really post or shout yeah, out. Yeah, they don't want to show. But money wise, yeah, royalties and, and or I either got paid off from the jump for yeah, front yeah, right with the jump, right with the, from the door. So yeah, and that's basically how I be wanting it anyway because ain't guaranteed that bitch gonna go platinum or gold. So yeah, you never you never know. Yeah, and then might as well make it for money. You know, what like I'm saying? it's like a hit or miss. You, yeah. I mean, sometimes you like. Man, should I get a payout front right now? Shit, shit. Or should I just let it ride? I mean, you never know. They know they're going to make their money regardless, no matter what they gave to me. Streaming it says, like, regardless, they're going to make what they pay for. But yep. if it's platinum or, you know, make that Bro, money. Yeah. Which it ain't guaranteed. So I'm not finna sign. I mean, I should think futuristic like that. But right now, it's about getting it and putting it back into your craft to get big. So when I do when I do get big enough, then I start doing it cause them checks ain't gonna be wanted that bad. It's just gonna be like a like a source of income. Man. And I, I went back and looked deep. I mean your partner wherever he, um whoever he was to you, you know, I see he dropped a song called Real Love, Little Little Jandre. Little yeah, Andre. Andre. Yeah. Man, walk me through that, brother. See, Dundre, Dundre was the best best rapper from Baton Rouge. To me, that was my favorite rapper. That's still one of my favorite rappers that he did. That was my homeboy, though, but Dundre was the sickest. Man. 
If Dun Dre was alive right now, that nigga be big, like big. He'll be big. Man, you just man. Like I, said, really I, just, like... I didn't know what I didn't know where to start, man. With this interview, you just you just got so much history with so much just everything. Bro, bro. Like everybody, she money, juice, Dundre, one Gus, Mister, uh, Nussie, Ready, man, Lefet, Latria, uh, Jamie, um, fuck a lot of people from BR, bro. That fuck with work with. Wow, man, and then uh, I was. Like, Fucking V Lo, Wookie, all of them, man. Man, rest their soul, man. And like I said, for you being an artist, and as far as, far as you came as as a as a, just a talented artist, as a brother, man. I just want to take the time on in this interview and just give you your flowers. Just say, man, you it, bro. so talented, you're so gifted. I mean, I mean, no one, whatever, whatever you, you know, what I mean, whatever your passion is, whatever you do, and I know, man, it just. I mean, we always say patient is everything. Patient is everything. It's timing is everything. And I mean, I'm telling you, you've been you've been putting the work since five years old, I mean, twenty years plus. You know, what I mean, putting on work, and you got songs for days. And I just want to say, man, I'm thank you for even you. I mean, for me, for you, even you know, when you come into my podcast or interview and then interview you, and I feel I got a part. I, I'm part of this, man, and just your legacy and just greatness and whatever you I mean, how you overcame this. So thank you for even allowing me, in, you know, in open hands like this, man. And I want to thank you, brother. Definitely, bro. No problem, bro. I mean, you just gifted, man. And so we going forward now. You say you're dropping a single. You say you're dropping all. We say just a bunch of singles and videos, right? Yeah, singles and videos to one of them take off eventually. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, are you, I mean, uh, right now, you focus on any marketing, man? Marketing, I mean, it's all about right now. The industry changed, man. Yeah, like that's why I be so in tune on like reels and TikTok and shit. Cause it's like the more active and more personality you show, the more people tune in to your music too. Yeah. So it's like I'm getting back into tapping in like that. So that shit be making my streams and followers go up too. You know? Yeah. I mean, looking in, even though you, you know, you, you trying to. Put on reels or do this, and they keep taking your Instagram. Or yeah, bro. I, yeah, they keep running me out, bro. My first page had ten thousand. That's what I had. I lost that page in the beginning of twenty one. Then I had made another page and got that up. They took that. I got it back. They just took it again. So now I'm on my backup page. Damn! Just imagine you have that that first page right now. Not 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 too many backup accounts. You just had that account right now. You should at least be at 80,000, 100,000. At least. Yeah, I'll probably, yeah, probably have about 30, 40, 50,000 followers. Yeah. Right now, at least something. Least man, 50. At least 50, you hear me? Yeah, at least 50. <laughs> man, Instagram is right now. What the hell you hating on DSK, man? Yeah, it's really bad, but now I just know, like, I know what to post. I know what not. Yeah. It's so, right now, with the social media stuff, it's so much community guidelines. Yeah, they making it hard. They making it hard for you to be yourself on that bitch. Like they, and then you can't even open, express yourself, and just be you. How? No, man. Where's my they, they took my last page for posting some some crazy shit on somebody's page. I had post some on a comment. Man. Some, some crazy shit. Some, so, some uh, weird shit. They took my shit. I don't know. Cause when I had got it back, they show you what they took it for. Yeah, they they'll be like, man, because of this or that, and I see, um, I'm going in, um, with the Def Am, with the group and Little Trey, yeah, yeah, y'all drop uh dollar sign, yeah, and dollar sign up, shit, yeah. So now I remember that shit. We walked to we walked to the studio and recorded that song. Man, <laughs> you you probably be like, man, how the fuck this nigga simple knows so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's good though. That means you tuned in. You man, come on, man. my research, man. I'm a media yeah. guy, man. I mean, I'm in, you gotta do your shit. So I mean, yeah. we always talk about timing. So when when someone like you, I'm not getting no nigga off the street just coming up. This nigga is the one that you've been putting the work for decades. Yeah. We talking about once, not just one century, not two centuries. <laughs> I, I ain't a nigga who trying to get a crown. I'm more trying to get it back. Yeah, you trying to get the crown back, so it's like you need you need your throne back, man. And to you, to you need your throne back. We need to take them. We need to show the people who did, like, who this the nigga y'all let go. 
Why y'all let this nigga go? And then you just wonder, as as big you was, where the fuck everybody disappear at? Where the hell they at? And then that's the same thing. I'll be like, man, was that shit real? I don't know. Was that even much me? I don't what know. It was a fake. Or, or was just, because you, you was young, whatever you know, I mean, you was young when all this shit was happening. So you I wonder. Think, I, I think it is maybe me. people don't recognize or can't find me or something. I don't know. I mean, do you look different or what? I mean, do you have dreads or you had a you had a, a boosy fade or Canadian? No, I ain't gonna say I look different. I just got more tattoos and long hair. I had a I had a Philly vibe. I ain't never had no low hair cut. Mm. Yeah, because I mean all your song was different, man. All your songs were different. And then and even the songs you did back in the days. And I see why that's I mean that shit with that shit like it remind me of if you know Schooly. I love Schooly. Schooly, Schooly. I, I don't know what that is. Man, you sound remind me of Schoolie, man. Um, what young stuff? You know, I ain't gonna lie, it's not even sound for me. Schoolie, um, man, I, t I, I try to send it to you. You'd be like, damn, you, you nigga, really? That I mean, that's what you mean. Your sound remind me of back, I me mean, back in the day, sound when you were making back in your, you know, what I mean? yeah. That's what it remind me of, you know. Going from that, um, just looking closely, it was a, it was a song. What was it? It was a song I did. Man, I'm trying to remember. It was a song you did. I had it in my head. I can't, I can't try to reprogram it. But man, I just wanna, ju I just wanna say, man, and as an artist you is, and as far you came, and your time is still not done yet. I mean, we still, we just, we, we just still, we just getting started. They don't even know what, what more, what more, or what, what, what's a, what a big impact you about to just show the whole world, the whole world. And I want to use my platform to showcase you back to the world. Like, man, this the nigga I take the crown from. Give the nigga the throne back. Most definitely, bro. Real talk. And that's what BR missing right now, man. They need a sound like this, man. Fuck something that. Different. Stop the violence, you know? Something different. Yeah, just something different. Man. Not fuck bitches, get money, do fit and all, shoot that nigga. You know what I mean? We, we <laughs> <laughs> real talk, though. For real, that's all they want. <laughs> Fuck bitches, get money, do fit. No. <laughs> I'm gonna force that shit on them though. Yeah, you gotta force it, man. You gotta push it, and then you, you and then you make some a lot of healing music too, and a lot of stuff that you know you don't just do no fuck around music. You do a lot of just healing, you know, just healing or just try to recover or just a lot yeah. of just um, you know, I mean, love music, man. Just yeah. really, man. and I want to say, man, I'm, I do in a daily if I have to, you know. That's why I feel about your music. Shit, yeah, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Not, not, not me going for a drill time. I gotta listen to. Uh, I need to listen to DSK. I'm about to go do a drill. Shit, no, I don't even want to make that shit. That's what I'm saying. You don't. You make. You just make a lot of. You know, songs you nigga can listen to Monday to Sunday. Yeah, that shit might get made twice a year. Yeah, <laughs> really. Back so, in the day, though, I make that shit a lot. That was, that shit used to be fun, but it's like making that shit sound ABC and retarded now. That shit. Yeah. So Yes, man. I just love how you transition to just you better yourself, man. And um, I don't want to go too deep in your um, the criminal criminal record, wherever it is, man. And a lot of people try to you know try to leave the system or trying to you know we, we, no one will fuck. We don't. We don't. We all don't fuck with the system. But you know, trying to leave the system, all that, man. Oh what yeah, for shit, I'm I'm I'm. I don't be tripping about speaking on because it's, it's old and shit. I can't get in trouble for it no more. I mean, I'm, I don't be doing shit. I be, I be cool. With it. <laughs> yeah, no shit, man. And I just want to say, man, thank you for tuning into Summer Radio Summer Podcast, man. And everyone listening right now, where they can, where where they can go and you know, listen to DSK. I mean, you're on all streaming platform. The floor yeah. is short. And just showcase yourself and just tell them, man, where, where they can find you at. Everywhere, bro. Uh, fuck. Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Pandora, Google Music, yeah. Amazon Music, Instagram, YouTube, underscore. Uh, my Instagram, underscore I am Trey DSK right now, but my YouTube, Trey the Step King or Trey DSK. Man, I just want to say thank you for coming through, bro. And uh, man, this was legendary, man. And to even, you know, to you even just. With no hesitation, just to share this with me, and I just want to, you know, just share with me, and they share it to the world, and me present it to the world, and I just want to say thank you, man, and just not no one hiding behind the bush or all that, you know. I me mean, just this is all one take. This is just this ain't no cuts. We going straight in, so yeah. I appreciate yeah. you 
for even sharing this, man, and just taking you, taking every, bringing back everybody to back to memory lane and who really was DSK and how many impact he had to the world and the city. Shit, yeah, bro. Shit, yeah, that him. Right, sir, he right, he, he right in front of me, everybody, and you're looking at him right now. <laughs> man, much love, man. Thank you for tuning in, brother. All right, bro. Appreciate you, bro.